the conditions are, it's, everything's firmed right up. It's, uh, the ice has gotten pretty thick here in that, and with this cold weather and that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to probably even get worse. What we've done here, we've broke a path, and what we're going to just try to do is keep this path open and uh, so we get these residents back and forth. Yeah, I think it was, what, two years ago, two or three years ago. There. I've been here five years now, and two or three years ago, we had the same conditions where all the ice, normally this ice flows, but everything froze up solid and it quit flowing and that's what we've done we just broke a path through here and that and we'll, we'll just keep this path open as long as we have to to keep these residents going back and forth and you talked about some other boats in the area are yeah you... there's a lot of freighters there's the freighter traffic still been pretty heavy for this time of year and that there a lot of them are getting stuck now and that so both the canadian and american coast guard are running around trying to get these freighters through the through the ice up to the western lake area and up to the river here